welcome to the Wollongong Showground this afternoon for this MMI big game between Illawarra and Manly. A vital one for both sides. Tremendous crowd in here at the Wollongong Showground. And a little bit overcast now after some sunny conditions this morning. But it is Illawarra here at home who really have to keep on in a winning vein. It's becoming bunched in this Winfield Cup competition. And this Steelers outfit are meeting Manly at the right time. With the Sea Eagles having a number of players backing up after the State of Origin midweek. They have enough talent in their own lineup. Tony Smith is the skipper at 5'8. Although they will be missing their own star wingman Rod Wishart, who pulled out after Wednesday's New South Wales Queensland clash. Riolo, Moon, Rodwell, McGregor, McIndo, Smith the skipper, Simon at halfback, Russell, Morrissey, Pincinelli, Teitzel, Schifoliti, and Dunn, the coaches, Graham Murray. Manly making their way out. They camped overnight here in Wollongong. They trained in the afternoon, and they decided to stay down here to really get themselves set for this one. Their supporters have made the journey from Sydney to the south coast, hoping that some of their State of Origin stars can reproduce, like Michael O'Connor. He kicked that great goal on Wednesday night, but it'll be rich with the duties at fullback this afternoon. Lydiard, Williams, O'Connor the skipper, Myers, the man from Wigan, makes his debut. 19 years of age, Lyons, Tuvi, Hasler, Jones, Dunford, Hosking, O'Donnell and Bella. The coach is Graham Lowe. The referee for this MMI big game, Mr. Eddie Ward. The Steelers, are they about to show everyone they're coming of age. A couple of seasons now we've been calling and predicting that this is a dark horse of the competition. Now they've really got to prove it and make a surge to the semi-finals. Rodwell getting amongst the forwards, the 21-year-old centre. It'll be in the forwards where they will miss their skipper, Chris Walsh, the veteran of the side who will be gone for the season with Achilles tendon problems. Upended is Bill Dunn. Simon back for the kick. He positioned himself nice and deep. And so did Ridge, positioned himself beautifully. Beat the first tackle of David Moon. Last tackle. Simon is deep. Riolo to support him. He steps Dunford. Gets the kick in. But all the kicks are going straight to Ridge. Giving him no major problem. This kick not as good as his last. Straight to Riolo. Yeah, that's a bit of an error there from Ridge. I mean, he gives possession now back to Willowra in their own half. And uh, they also concede a penalty. Just a little bit of a breeze behind him. A slight nor'easter. He's sending this miles. Putting it well and truly into the crowd. But unsuccessful though. Nil all the Steelers and the Sea Eagles. A little dummy from Schiffoletti. Another penalty against Manley. Eddie Ward wants both the double markers to stand directly in front of the man playing the ball. It is the same angle for Simon that he had just a couple of moments ago. Except that it's a little closer by about six or seven metres. Trying to get the radar on track after that first one. Fine goal from Simon, and they grab the early break. 2 0 Illawarra on the MMI big game. Good backing up, but the cover got there in big numbers. Lyons staying involved in a lot of tackles now. O'Connor. Had to turn, he was running round in a circle. Now to Chris White. No one outside him. Williams on the inside. Williams gets it to Hasler. Hasler gets it out to Ridge. Touched by the Steelers, back to Ridge. Ridge to Myers, Myers to the corner. Just a metre short. Now they're holding him down. Somebody could end up in the bin. Schifoliti, surely, 10 minutes. He had to go. Hugh Ridge. Has 28 from 35, an incredible 80% record in the Winfield Cup. The kids do their best to put him off. Coming round for Ridge, off the post. 
You can't get any closer. Here's a break for the Steelers. Rodwell is taken by Bourne. And a chance for a break now for Illawarra. Strong determined run from Tytsel. And now a penalty. Frustration creeping into the game. A little bit of feeling. Eight metres out. Back to the line they go, Manly. Morrissey. Three and four metres away. The Steelers have to start showing something on the board. Russell. Short ball for Pincinelli. Right in front of the post, the Steelers. He kicks through. Pincinelli's getting there and wins. There was a real shoulder charge at Tussle. But the roar here at the showground and the smiles all round on the players' faces tell us that Pincinelli got through. Now on the MMI replay, Simon the little kick. He looked to have only just put Pincinelli on side and he wins the shoulder battle with Bella. Well, it could have even resulted in a penalty try because I think there was a little bit more than a shoulder, but nevertheless, he was put well and truly on side. No doubt that it was a fair try in the end, but Martin Bella did his very, very best to try and avoid the try. Neil Pincinelli, who has two tries in 1991, the carpenter from down south. Setting up some foundations here for his side in the first half. The big crowd love every minute of this now that they might have a break on Manly at half time. Talking about our MMI big game, you can look on the sleeve there of John Simon. They are part sponsors here, MMI, of this Illawarra side. Along with the big Australian. Right next to the post. The Steelers with a terrific advantage. It is eight points to nil. Ball ball see a lot more of the ball. Touched. It didn't matter, there was no manly players following through the kick as quickly as some of the Steelers though. Riolo beats two. Beats three. Now, handed that ball forward, and it's a good call. It's a penalty instead of just a forward pass. After all the good things when beating a couple of men, he lets Alan McIndoe only just overrun him. Well, maybe it was a line ball for the penalty, but he was quickly to the spot to call it, Ward. His first attempt hit the post ridge from out wide, this one from about 37 metres out. He's heading back to his own side because he knows as soon as that left his boat, he knew it was going to be a goal. They get on the board, it is 8-2 in the MMI big game. From Chris White. Taking it across to the other side of the ruck is Tuvi. The Lions on the inside, McIndoe plucks it. Here comes Hasler, McIndoe and Hasler. McIndoe goes into top gear. Right at the break, taking a risk as Manly, and they take too big a risk. The Wollongong showground comes alive. Try number two for the Steelers. Matthew Ridge on the MMI replay with a ball that was only ever on for McIndoe. Into full stride, Hasler looked as though he may cut the angle down, but McIndoe it was who found another gear. And he scooted away to score right alongside the post. Yeah, Graham, Manly putting a lot of pressure on themselves here. They're obviously looking for points before half time, taking risks, but they put pressure on themselves and it results in McIndoe taking an intercept. Desi Hasler springing across, trying to take him, but Alan McIndoe, the season's leading try scorer, goes over for a try that, that really puts them well in front, and that's his 10th try for the season. He was leading with Paul Smith before that try, now he has 10. This is a fine lead. At half time for the Illawarra Steelers, they will receive a huge ovation here at the showground on the south coast. 14 points to two as their fans welcome them to the break. 
tackle now. Lions with a bit of a dummy. He might have tried to get too clever. Rich just knocked it down, but knocked it forward. The Steelers now. Poor play from Manly. They're punished badly. Incredibly manly messed up in the play of the ball, and it is two of their most experienced. Cliff Lyons, who tried to show it, and then to Ridge, it came unstuck badly. On the MMI replay, knocking it down was Ridge, but only as far as plenty of Illawarra Steelers support. Teitzel took on Tuvi and Lydiard, grabbed hold of both of them and said to David Moon, grab yourself a try. Flying to the corner, he beats the cover. Yeah, Cliff Lyons made the original error, but uh, Illawarra pick, picked it up. They threw the ball wide. They were looking to counter-attack straight away. And Craig Tyson shows his muscle here, and he stood up well, held the ball for David Moon, who came flying onto the ball, and he went round to improve his position. Over into the fence as well. John Simon has three from four. A couple of them have been easy ones from next to the post. His toughest test to date front of this big home crowd from out near the sideline. He didn't like it. Well away. So the Steelers now 18 points to two over Manly. Needed a spark, that might be it. It might be, Bill. So now they go wide. Lions run around to two the defence up so smartly that they sent them back to the 22. Now, Russell, did he steal the ball? If he did, that can be a vital one when somebody's on the attack. And referees have been asked to sin bin in those, in those situations. Ridge quickly grabs two. It's the Seagulls well behind at 18 to four. O'Connor. Go down to the last tackle. Ridge comes up to the front line. Manley to bomb away. Young man, Riolo at fullback waiting. Ridge gets the try they need. Riolo never got the support, and the Manley players climbed all over him. Some of his teammates should have got back there, but Ridge put it up, and Ridge climbed to grab four points. He came up into the front line on the MMI replay to put the pressure on Riolo. Now, how many Steelers get back here to support Riolo? Nobody got in front of him to put the Manly players off. Great chasing from his own kick for Ridge. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head here. Not, no Illawarra players, or very few Illawarra players, got back to shelter Riolo. He's not the tallest man in the world, so he needs some help. Ridge out jumps him and goes over to score the try. To improve it now to get Manly right back into the game. So that earlier penalty kick that he took quickly was important. As he grabs another two, he scored all of Manley's points, but they're alive now at 18 to 10. Manley go wide to O'Connor. O'Connor taking on a forward. Good smart play from Manley. McGregor chasing O'Connor. O'Connor now looking inside for support. The legs are giving out. He needs somebody to take over. He can't get it to anybody. A lot of chasing from the Steelers. Manley not done with by a long way. Lions out to Hasler. Hasler to Bourne to Ridge. Ridge had nobody onside outside him. To the 22. Quick play the ball. Manley smelling a chance here. Strong running from White. Now he's got some support. Dunford. Dunford getting outside Schiffoletti. Schiffoletti nearly get him, let him get away. Two metres out from the line. Lions to dummy. Half penalty. Somebody should be in the bench, surely. Well, it's Schiffoletti involved again. O'Connor stepping. Quick tap. Yeah, they had to keep the pressure on because two points is not real good for them at the moment. Bella. Bella. As tired as he is, he gets the try. The Steelers have gone to sleep here, but Manley are showing real character. 
He might be a tired man, Martin Bella. But he surged over here to put Manly on line. To sneak out of this game at Wollongong on the MMI replay. Look at the strength of him. Yeah, a good captaincy option here by, by Michael O'Connor too, Graham. It could have uh, easily been a, a kick for goal. Penalty kick, but he took the tap and uh, went over for, for a try. Martin Bella, physiotherapist. He'll be doing plenty of that on himself all week. Three from four for Matthew Ridge. Right out on the chalk on the sideline. In front of an opposition crowd. Pressure goal and all. He just misses. But it is 18-14. Illawarra over Manly on the MMI big game. Gets his kick in Ridge and gets it in well over the head of McIndoe. Now McIndoe faces up to Myers and also Ronson. Ronson climbs high on him. Ian Russell. Stepping right through. Russell is putting players on side. Schifolini's there. Schifolini chased by O'Connor. O'Connor, will he know? Great pace from Schifolini to get home. O'Connor is arguing about the players not retreating. Arguing about Russell putting them on side. MMI replay, the step from Russell beats Bourne. Too good. Waiting downfield, down around near Matthew Ridge, is Schifoletti. Now Lyons comes across, as does O'Connor. Lyons couldn't match it. O'Connor was trying to get there, but the hooker, clean pair of heels under the black dot. Yeah, this man, Ian Russell, one of the most elusive forwards in the competition. Got a little bit of pace too, but Schifoletti, can't he move along? There's Hassler in the background. Looks like he tears a muscle or at least goes down into it. But Schifoletti goes over for the try. Too quick. Yeah, good try this one. Terrific individual effort by Russell. Look at that step off the right foot. Now, from here, he had to sum up the situation. He had support on either side, drew the fullback. Schifoletti was there. That's not a bad effort for a hooker. And Michael O'Connor was in chase, but he had just too much start. The butcher cuts them up. Three from five for Simon. This one right in front. Manly were threatening. The Steelers now trying to put them away. But there is still time. Time if Manly can find it again. 24 to 14, the Steelers. McGregor. Morrison. To Russell. Moon. Moon running away from the cover. Lillian comes across. Moon still going. Running into some of his own players. The Steelers looking for the try that will put Manley away completely. Skipper Liddy looking for a second. Forward passes. Slow play the ball. Smith, Rodwell, still in front of the post. Russell is calling for the ball on the right for a field goal. Off a Manly player. No goal. Charged down by a Manly defender from the try line. Simon again. Simon ducking tackles. Keeping the ball alive now. Jones out to McIndoe for his second. Now, Cliffy Lyons was late on the scene. McIndoe resented it. Lyons still involved. He wants to forget all about it, Cliff Lyons. This is crazy. McIndoe had the ball planted, and he didn't like the tackle of Lyons coming over the top. Myers was underneath all of that. He's come off the worst way. But it doesn't matter. McIndoe's got the try. The MMI replay shows how they keep it alive. Jones getting it out wide. McIndoe too strong. It was not called for. It wasn't needed, the tackle of Lyons at all. Now, Lyons came in late here, very late. 
And obviously Alan McIndoe re rejected that, uh, that late tackle, so he should too. And but both of them going on with it. Lyons in the better position there. Now Cliff Lyons has 10 minutes in the bin. And that angle from out on the sideline for Simon. Four from six for him. Absolutely vital this win for the Steelers. Coming round, but not enough for Simon. The Steelers, though, have snuck away again. It is 28 to 14 over Manly. They turned up in big numbers to see this game. Their team haven't let, let them down at all. Could it be the Steelers to climb in the semis of 1991? They've got enough young players down here with the skill. Jones and enough workers amongst the forwards who have played well. That's all there is. That's all there is in this game. Manly now will only have one point up their sleeve on the competition table ahead of the Steelers. And the Steelers stay in touch with this five. Plenty of tries from them. Pincinelli, McIndoe got a double. Moon and Schifoletti, Simon four goals. Ridge got a try, as did Bella for Manly. Ridge with three goals. 28 points to 14. Come on, mighty woman, go with the yellow or a Steelers. You can't go wrong with the metal strong. Gonna give them the taste of Steelers.